Hey guys, good morning from you know where, Southern Nevada. Hey, you know, two years ago I picked up this Taurus polymer revolver, chambered in 357 Magnum. I did a review on it, and last year I did an updated review on it to let you guys know how well it was holding up. And I'll tell you what, between those two videos, I've gotten over 2 million views. So apparently there's a lot of interest on this revolver. And even today I've got guys asking me, hey, how's this thing holding up? So today we're going to do a two-year look at this and uh, tell you guys what I think about it. So let's take a close look at it while I'm talking about it. Taurus Protector Poly. Look at this, huh? Now this is a model 605 and it is chambered in 357 Magnum. It is a five shot, double action, single action revolver. The outer frame on this is, is polymer, but it does have an inner still frame and you can see part of it right here. And I do like the grips on this. Barrel length on this is two inches. And the barrel is stainless steel, by the way. Retail on this today is $420. And holsters. Galco makes a holster. I know Alien Gear makes a holster for this. And you can also find holsters on Amazon. Unloaded weight is 20 ounces. I do want to mention the ejector rod on this is really very very short so when you shoot one of these and you go to unload it make sure you tip the barrel up so your cases can drop down now check this out i bought a second taurus poly protector or protector poly look at this one here now this is almost identical to this one here except this is a model 85 and it's chambered in 38 Special plus P. Look at this, huh? Again, five shot double action. Now this one came out about 10 years ago during the whole zombie craze. A little silly if you ask me, but I do think it looks pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the ammo we're gonna put through this today and uh, start shooting. I picked up a couple of boxes of this Barnes TAC XPD hollow point ammo. Now this is 125 grains. Now this is a solid copper bullet and they tend to expand very, very well. It says here on the box, muzzle velocity 1200 feet per second out of a two inch barrel. I also have some Federal Punch 38 Special Plus P. This is 120 grains. And I have some Federal, 38 Special, 130 grain, full metal jacket. All right, you know what time it is, right? It is time to shut up and shoot. Okay, I've never shot the Barnes ammo through this, so the first thing I want to do is just check the recoil on that Barnes 357 Magnum ammo, because I, I have a feeling it's going to be... Uh, uh, it's going to generate a lot of recoil in this light revolver. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire three rounds of the Barnes, and then I'm going to immediately fire two rounds of the 38 Special, just to get the fill of the recoil. And I'm going to wear double hearing protection, earplugs, and earmuffs. So let me get ready. I'll be right back. Okay, three rounds of the Barnes Magnum ammo and two 38 Special. That does have quite a bit of kick to it. Oh yeah, much better. All right. Manageable, but it is very heavy, just so you know. 
Hey, in the near future, I want to do a full review on this ammo. We'll check velocity and all that good stuff, put it through three or four guns. But right now, I just want to put two rounds through this two-inch barrel. And I'm going to shoot some ballistics gel and see how well these are going to expand. So, two rounds, ballistics gel. Let me get set up and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm actually going to fire three rounds. Two rounds of Barnes and one round of the uh, Federal Punch. All right, let's go dig them out. All right, so there's two of them right here, and there's one down here at the bottom. Let me flip this over here. All right, you know what? Let's grab the knife and cut it open. Okay. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Now there's a Barnes right there. All right, look at that, huh? I think that is the punch. Yep, another Barnes bullet here. All right. So again, Barnes. I'll tell you what, look at that punch. I've done a review on this punch ammo and I actually really do like it. I mean, that, that's almost perfect. All right, it's time to have a little fun. I have two pumpkins here. I'm going to shoot the small one with the uh, Punch 38 Special Plus P. The big pumpkin. I'm going to shoot with the Barnes 357 Magnum Hollow Point. Look at that beauty, huh? Heck, might as well get this one dirty, right?
Okay, there you go, guys. I'm going to hang it up. It is starting to get pretty warm out here. But what do I think about this uh, Protector Poly? You know, not a bad revolver. If you're in the market for something like this, take a look at it. You might really, really like it. Me, ah, it's okay, but uh, that's just my opinion. It does work uh, very well, by the way, and fairly accurate for a two-inch barrel. Anyways, if you buy something like this, I would recommend you carry the 38 Special Plus P Federal Punch because it does expand very nicely and the recoil is very manageable, especially compared to a Magnum load. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my video. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Ha! And that's how you do that.